Well, hello there folks and welcome back to The Whiskey Friend with me, Alan. Here we are, another week, another new video. Today's video I'm doing something a little bit special. I've had uh, some samples sent to me by a subscriber, Mr Neil Bloor. Uh, thanks very much, Neil. I'm going to give you a quick blast on this one. He sent me a couple of samples, but I'm going to do one of these today. Uh, I'm looking forward to doing the, the Balvenie Pete Week. 14 year old, 2003 vintage, and it's bottled at 48.3% and it's non-chill filtered. Don't know anything about colour. I see it's just arrived today guys, so I haven't done any research on it. I'm just going to open the bottle, have a taste of it, give you my opinion. Hopefully this is going to be a real quick video. Uh, Neil's also sent me, just out of interest, Ben Romuck. It's uh, exclusively bottled for Amazon. Uh, it's one of 252 bottles, uh, barrel 127, 8 year old peat, so that's bottled at 61% that one, so that's that looks a whopper, but I'll save that for later Neil, I'm going to crack on with this one, just before I crack on with the video guys, the usual housekeeping to do, if you're a returning subscriber then thanks very much and welcome back, if you've just so happened to pop along for the first time and you haven't quite yet, hit the subscribe button, you may want to do that guys, it's just down below you there, it doesn't cost anything, it's free and you're helping the channel massively on its way to the magical 1k. So the channel target at the minute is a thousand subscribers, I think we're well on our way there guys, so every little subscriber counts, so if you haven't quite done it guys, it's just down there. But anyway, now the housekeeping is done, let's move on to the whiskey. Balvenie Pete Week, uh, Balvenie everyone knows it is those that honeyed sweet floral light space side distillery um, this is a little bit interesting because what Balvenie do is they close the distillery down for a week and they transfer everything to peat hence we have the peat week uh, I think they've been doing that for two or three years that now um, but this is the first I say it's the first peat week that I've tried so I can't compare it against anything else but I'm just going to give you a quick nose, quick taste, a little bit of a finish and then I'll give it a mark and then we'll uh, crack on. So the whiskey guys, just a little interesting fact with this one, the, when I originally got it only arrived today so I'm going to have a quick quick run through with this, but when I originally opened the bottle and I had a quick sniff, from the bottle it reminded me of a lag of ruling. Um, so if I was doing this blind I probably would have chose it from that bottle is maybe a lag of villain. But when I've poured it in the glass and I've left it to settle for five or 10 minutes, it's completely different. It's now, it's very floral, very sweet. It's still a little bit smoky, you've got the smoke in there, but it now smells typically, now that I know that it's Balvenie, it smells typical Balvenie. It's sweet, floral, it's like a flower basket. Smoke's there, it's like a, it's like an ashtray smoke. I actually thought with this being peat weak it was going to be, if I had taken it from the nose of the bottle, I think it would be all peat, but it's not. It's got a beautiful balance between the peat and the sweetness and the floral. Big, big honey note, which I'm always uh, associate with Balvenie. Vanillas, butterscotch, but see, yeah, definitely guys, if I was doing that blind, I probably would have chosen it as a lag of villain. This is they're using Space Side Peat. Uh, this is really, really sweet on the nose. Got Balvenie character all over it. But it's just the, the peat just throws you because you don't really expect it from Balvenie. Beautiful nose. So, on the palate, guys, let's have a quick taste. Okay, guys. On that initial first sip, it's intense. You definitely get the 48.3. Cheeks are a little bit peppery. I said it is intense. The, the smoke is much more prominent on the palate than it was on the nose. It's still sweet though. Lots of vanilla, lots of butterscotch, lots of honey. Lovely. You've got that beautiful, beautiful oak note coming in now. Some nice wood. Wow. Real, real nice. 
Let's try a little bit more, guys. On that second sip, guys, it's a little bit more citrus, picking up a beautiful lemon. Maybe some lemon oil. But it's it's smoky, it's ashy, it's woody, it's very nice. But it's all the way through this, you've got this beautiful balance between the smoke and the sweetness and the florals in there. Not that I can taste floral, but you you know that it's it's sweet and that balance is beautiful between them all. Just heading out of, towards the end of the development and into the finish, it's gone a little bit. I'm picking up some some tobacco, maybe some pipe tobacco, and a little bit of leather. But it's real nice. It's beautiful whiskey. It's easy drinking at forty eight point three. I'm very glad that Neil sent me that. Cheers again, Neil. Let's move on to the finish. Just before I do the finish, guys, that the mouthfeel of this is beautiful. It's velvety. It's a nice velvet, velvety texture. But on the finish, it's it's a long finish. It's creamy. It's thick. It's oaky. Smokes beautiful. Is that ashy, ashy smoke? And then the leathers there and the pipe tobaccos there. Very, very nice. So, what we're going to do is score for this one. This Balvini Peat Week, 14 year old, 2003 vintage. Score wise guys, it's very, very easy. It's really, really nice. I've really, really enjoyed this, this whiskey. As a score, I'm going to give it an 87 out of a hundred. Uh, I think it's fantastic. I think it's a great effort from Balvenie. Very thankful to the guys that are sending me all the samples. Thanks again for that Neil. I'm looking forward to trying your Ben Romer. I'll let you know how I got on with that. Uh, but that's me guys. Just a quick one today. I'm Alan. Until next time. If you've liked the video guys just give me a quick thumbs up. You know what to do with everything else. Um, and it's been a pleasure today and I'll catch up with you next time. Cheers guys, thank you.